Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Claire and today I'm in front of my closet and I was about to like just kind of like start spring cleaning my closet. Like I need to kind of go through all the things that I have and figure out like what doesn't fit anymore, what like do I want in rotation for spring and just kind of like figure out everything because the weather's been getting warmer in New York and I just kind of want to like make sure I know all my spring stuff before I like start buying more spring stuff, you know, because I do not want to kind of get into the habit of feeling like I'm buying things that I already have, but I just don't know I have them because I don't know that they're in my closet. So we're going to go through my whole closet and I figured I'll show you guys what I have. Um, I live in New York City, so this is a tiny closet for two people. I live with my fiance and it's like, I have a lot of clothes, he has a decent amount of clothes, and it's just kind of like a mess. Like we have this, and then some drawers, and then I have like a whole like hanger setup situation. So I'll take you guys through everything, but I figured, let me just kind of walk you guys through how everything's a bit organized, and kind of the stuff I need to swap out. I've done this before, but I figured, let's do an update of this video. So, here we go! Okay, first things first, this is what our main closet looks like. There is honestly just a lot going on, so let me start explaining. Okay, so up here, we kind of have things that I just never reach for, and this is kind of like where I want to kind of start off, like in those big bins. In two of these bins, I have summer and spring stuff and in another bin i have some disney stuff because we have a ton of shirts because we love going to disney world and another bin i have just workout clothes that i don't really wear but i don't want to get rid of and so i think that's an easy place to kind of start uh decluttering and kind of organizing up here i have a bunch of sweatpants and some jeans that i don't wear as often uh the pants that i do wear a little bit more often are going to be hanging here or outside in uh, a, a different kind of setup that i will show you guys and then over here we have some of the pain pants that i really love i also have some of my fiance's pants right here um i also have all of my sweaters set up here and down here i have an overflow of my pajamas and just a bunch more spring stuff some socks and this area down here is going to be all for me all of my tops shirts and everything are going to be in this section and then this section over here is all of my fiance stuff and i kind of like borrowed a little bit of space right here Okay, I'm surrounded by a bit of a mess, so I'm just going to show you guys what's been going on. Um, first of all, this pile is all stuff I need to keep. Uh, some dresses that I like, some pajamas, some tops, some workout clothes. This is like the good pile. Over here, we have the pile of things that we need to donate. Um, some of these, for example, like I have some pants right here. Like I've literally not worn them in years they're like my corporate stuff like my work stuff like i'm definitely not gonna need it so like we are saying goodbye to all of this this is also probably the right time to kind of show you guys these drawers that i have going on um we have two of these and this one is for my fiance this one is for me so here i have like underwear bras and things like that here i have pajamas down here I have some more pajamas because I love pajamas and loungewear and down here I have like long pants and these are just like thinner ones that I feel like I wear pretty often and so they're all just kind of like down here I don't really 
need to go through these drawers because I go through them pretty regularly and so I know everything that's there and I'm going to be keeping everything here as is. Okay, so over here, I this is my living room and I have this other kind of like hanger situation over here and so down here I have some workout clothes that I actually wear pretty often and over here are you can see all of my other sweatpants some sweaters some random kind of junk and some things I was hanging up for drying um and so actually when summer kind of starts I'm gonna be hanging up my short pants here hanging up some of my shirts in this area and so I want to kind of put all of these away the thing is is that like I don't actually feel like I'm quite ready for that point yet and so i think i'm gonna kind of keep everything here as is but i kind of wanted to show you guys like i have this other area so you can kind of visualize how i'm trying to organize all of my clothes guys this is the final result of this little section um sorry if you feel like my voice is just like ew what the fuck um okay so over here i have my sweatpants that i think i might wear but also these are like my most worn so i'm gonna keep them here because there's no more space up here i have my cozy knit pajamas from skims that are like we're not gonna be wearing anymore have more of my disney world shirts here i have my sweaters and sweatpants that i just will not be looking at for another year and didn't touch any of mikhail's stuff but i did kind of reorganize i have some of my long sleeves i'm going to be mostly wearing i took out some dresses that i think i'm going to be wearing as well some like rompers and things like that and i did hang up all of these like sweatpants um where they're like sweats but they're shorts like sweat shorts um and some of my denim down here i have more uh, like spring summer stuff this is like really core summer like bandos like we're not going to be wearing in a while and here i have some like some more dresses that i just don't think we're gonna need some boxing gloves and my socks and down here under here i have a more pajama overflows and then this here is mostly just tank tops and short sleeves and i'm honestly looking very happy with this progress okay and then out here i have like regular pants like this i'm gonna be wearing that i think i'm gonna be like still using a lot and then i have some more sweaters and like long sleeve shirts and these are just like a lot thinner and so I think this is going to be what my like spring transitional weather kind of outfit will look like. And so this is what I'm going to be grabbing for a lot right now. I didn't touch anything in these drawers, but this is the pile of stuff that I need to donate. And I have a lot of good things in here that I think I'm going to try to resell through thread up some things are just a lot older and so i'm gonna donate those um to goodwill or to family but i'm gonna really try to limit how much i'm donating through goodwill because i know that a lot of times it just ends up going to the landfill and so i'm gonna try to resell these and give these a proper home as much as possible but this is just all of this stuff sometimes i always wonder i'm just like how did all of this fit inside my closet and then i remember that i, I barely have any space and that's why okay you guys that is it for this video i hope you had fun following me around as i reorganized my closet i know that 
it was it's kind of like hard to tell because it's just like a closet full of stuff but I really hope that this inspired you to kind of like start going through your wardrobe right now and kind of do some spring cleaning, you know, like figure out like what it is that you have in your closet. Like instead of just jumping on all of these like new launches, new releases, new sales, like figure out what you have in your closet and like lay them all out and do that before you buy anything new. Like for example, I'm looking at all this and I'm like white sweat shorts. I have so many of them. Like, I probably should not be buying any more. And those are, like, my weakness. So it's, like, things like that where you just want to be mindful of what's already in your closet. And so that is the purpose of this whole video. So I hope this inspired you to make some more conscious shopping decisions this spring. And if you want, like, a follow-up video where I talk about um, why donating to some places like Goodwill isn't actually that sustainable, I'm more than happy to do another video. But probably once my voice returns because I know you're probably just like sick of hearing me talk with this like broken ass voice so anyways thank you guys so much for watching my name is Claire and I will see you guys next time bye <laughs>